When a new story falls through the cracks, Louis Black catches it for a segment we call Back in Black. <laughs> Technology, it's everywhere. iPhones, tablets. Here in New York City, we've in, even replaced our old phone booths with giant screens. And I'll admit it's a lot harder to take a dump in them. But I usually <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> the point is, no matter where you look, there's a screen. And I think it's great. You know, when I was a kid, all we had to stare at was that thing on my Uncle Harry's neck. <laughs> it was mesmerizing. <laughs> But, surprise, surprise, the thing we like most is as bad for kids as a weekend at Jeffrey Epstein's. An alarming report that every parent should see. How much screen time doctors say is too much? There's a new danger that doctors are concerned about now. All that screen time is prematurely aging their eyes, and the damage could be permanent. A group of doctors say kids use so much tech that they cannot hold a pen or a pencil because they lack the hand strength and dexterity. One doctor arguing that all screen time can even turn kids into psychotic junkies. Psychotic junkies? Come on! Kids are psychotic junkies! <laughs> with or without phones! Haven't you ever been to a Chuck E. Cheese? Bring out a pepperoni pie and see who doesn't get the shakes. <laughs> if kids are just becoming crazy now, then why did I get a vasectomy 30 years ago? <laughs> but apparently kids having too much screen time is a bad thing. So some parents are forcing their children to take a vow of abstinence. Thousands of parents are taking a pledge to wait to give their child a smartphone. More than 20,000 people have signed the wait until eighth pledge, committing to wait until the eighth grade to give their child a smartphone. I saw these kids flooding out at the end of the school day and all of their heads were down and they were completely oblivious to the world around them. That's right, kids. Get off your phone and look at the world around you. <laughs> You're missing all the hate crimes, pollution, and sweet, sweet death by vaping. <laughs> Wait till eighth grade to use a phone. Good luck with that. If you don't introduce these kids to technology immediately, they might as well be Amish. If I had a kid, <laughs> if I had a kid, he wouldn't be out back milking a cow. He'd be shackled in his room, beta testing his new blockchain IPO. I don't know what the I just said, but who cares? I'm gonna be rich! <laughs> Still, I get why regular parents limit screen time. But what really pisses me off is that the parents most worried about the screens are the ones who gave us those screens in the first place. You might think Silicon Valley movers and shakers are consumed by the technology they create, but a growing number of parents in the tech industry are restricting or banning screen time for their kids. Take a look at what some of the people who make those products want their kids to do with them. This private Silicon Valley classroom turns its back on tech. More parents in Silicon Valley are asking nannies to police their child's screen time. In some cases, the addiction is so bad, they're asked to hide the technology altogether and sign a no-phone contract. Oh, 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 hold on a second. So these screens are fine for our kids, but not for yours? These Silicon Valley people don't get to shield their families from the problems they created. In fact, every time they introduce a new brain-zapping gizmo, they should have to test it out on their own brats first. <laughs> hey, kids, Daddy made something that might cause cancer. Could you stare at it for me? <laughs> these, these tech pushers need to stand by their own product. That's why I love the Kool-Aid man. Not only is he Kool-Aid, he carries around an extra jug of Kool-Aid just in case he runs out of himself. Now, that's what I call integrity. <laughs> but it's not realistic to expect Silicon Valley to take responsibility for their actions. That's why, as a public service, I, Lewis Black, have developed an app to help keep their kids off their phones. It's super high tech. Take a look. Put your goddamn phone down! <laughs> oh, there is a lot of porn on this phone. 
Trevor? Lewis Black, everyone.